नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणि भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदा भगवद्गीते भगवद्वेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शॉवर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई अफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्णवंदना वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु सन् ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशन टू यू Shrimad Bhagavad Gita, Dhyana Yoga, the sixth chapter, the Yoga of Meditation, and uh, we read uh, in the twenty-eighth shloka last uh, in our previous reading. And Sri Krishna once again he reiterated the, the 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 benefits, the advantage, the progress that the yogi is going to make when he does meditation. when he is able to firmly put his mind on the lower self what is it that he gets and that shri krishna had told us yunjane evam sadatmanam yogi vigata kalmashah having constantly dwelt his mind on the self in this yoga hmm yunjan eva sadatmanam yogi gets into that stage of freedom from evil freedom from sins vigat kalmashah sukhena brahma sansparsham atyantam sukham ushnate and very easily having touched this philosopher stone very easily having known its true identity brahma sansparsham having made a contact with that infinite satchidananda brahman atyantam sukham ashnute he enjoys that infinite bliss that is what he gets now what happens once once he gets that bliss as shri krishna has told us in the 27th and 28th verses the shloka what how how what is his outlook towards the outside world he has gone in fine but still the yogi has to live in this world isn't it he cannot just escape from being in this material world he has to be part. so what is the outlook towards others now that shri krishna is going to tell us in this 29th shloka ईक्षते सर्वत्र समदर्शनः दिस इज व्हाट हैपेंस टू द योगी है ही हैज सीन हु हिमसेल्फ और हर सेल्फ इज नाउ द योगी नोज हु एम आई बट व्हाट अबाउट अदर्स ही हैज टू स्टिल लिव इन दिस world he has to live in the society he has to live among all others how does it look? he look at them how does she looks at them so sarva bhutastham atmanam sarva bhutastham the same atman atmanam sarva bhutastham the same atman then he sees the same atman is dwelling in all other living forms sarva bhutastham atmanam what i have realized within me 
my little self as a part of that supreme self, the Brahman, Satchidananda Brahman. That same self, that same Brahman is abiding, dwelling in all the living beings. Sarvabhutastham Atmanam Sarvabhutani Chatmani. Hmm? And all beings are in that self only. Like that example that Sri Ramakrishna gave at the end of uh, 28th sloka, that pot immersed in water, there is water inside, same water is outside, within the pot and without the pot, outside the pot. And that is what happens. The realization comes. Sarva Bhutastham uh, sarva bhutastham atmanam sarva bhutani cha atmani the same the the the, the 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 atman same atman is dwelling in all the living beings and all the living beings are also contained in the same brahman in the same entity which is say with the, in the same sachidanandam inside and outside it is the same Brahman. Ikshate Yoga Yuktatma Sarvatra Samadarshanaha. Ikshate sees Yoga Yuktatma, one who is harmonized in this yoga, who has concentrated his heart, his mind in this yoga of seeing the Brahman. What happens to him? He sees this such Yoga Yuktatma, Yoga Ikshate, he sees Sarvatra Samadarshana all around. It is not just near him, near in, in, in the nearby vicinity, no. Sarvatra all around this entire universe. Samadarshana that sees the same thing. Whichever way his eyes roam, to whichever uh, Distance, his sight takes him till the end of horizon. He sees the sameness in everything. Samadarshana. So that is what the yogi gets into such a beautiful state of seeing one in all, seeing all in one. So that is what Sri Krishna has uh, told us. In this 29th shloka, his mind being harmonized by yoga, his mind being concentrated in this yoga of union of the lower self and the supreme self, he sees himself in all beings. He sees himself in all beings and all beings in himself. He sees the same self. What is there in me is there in everybody. And what is there in everyone? And Sri Krishna says it is not only among the human beings, Sarva Bhuta, all the living beings. The same thing is there in an ant, in a uh, cat, in a dog. In the, you name the living being. The same reality, the same Satchitananda, the same self. I am present in everyone. Everyone is present in me. That kind of consciousness, that kind of understanding, that kind of enlightenment the yogi gets into. The distinction between the high and low, the angel and the humble creature vanishes from his mind. There is no high, there is no low, there is no uh, uh, you know, good, there is no bad, there is no uh, a holy person, there is no evil person. Everything is same. Everything is same. Because he sees himself in everyone. He sees the same self in everyone and he realizes the same self that is there in everyone is in him. All, the entire universe is within him. It is all connected together by that same force, by that same reality, by that same Satchidananda. The, the distinction is only the body. 
that is the only distinction the real stuff the real stuff is all the same it is only that pot that is the distinction water is same all around hmm? <coughs> he is the same divinity in all in his intuition the self in him is the self in all and the self in all is the self in him the individualized selves do all merge into one universal selves then gets the understanding oh my self is not different from his or her self the self is all one the body the container may be different yes but the container is temporarily container comes and goes the covering comes and goes the garment comes and goes the real stuff inside is one and the same there is no difference this is his realization so this is what happens when the mind gets focused on the self and the lower self meets the supreme self through the process of meditation his his individuality goes for toss me and mine goes for toss it just vanishes and then it is all the uh, living beings all the entire universe is part of me i am part of this entire universe whatever is dwelling the ultimate reality is the same everywhere then sarvatra samadarshana he gets the same equal vision for everything all around now here again uh, sri ram krishna has uh, uh, there, there is uh, one uh, uh, teaching that goes here now it is in, uh, slightly in a, uh, it is contrasting example to the meaning of the shloka here uh, the shloka means that yes he he sees everything the same within himself outside everything remains same now the example that sri ramakrishna has given has given to make this point understand and we will again come to the same understanding as we read through this example assuming individuality to oneself is like putting a dam to a portion of the ganga and claiming that little water in it is one soul river ganga is flowing merrily uh, it is not one person's property isn't it but what happens on one bank a person will go and construct a little kind of dam and oh this is my ganga how foolish sri ram krishna says how foolish is that understanding he is trying to limit that limitless ganga that ganga which is for all he is trying to limit it by putting that small tiny wall and claiming that ganga to be his is it ever possible it is like saying my atman is for me in this body other atman hmm, that doesn't belong to this, this atman doesn't belong to anybody this atman is mine the water with the atman which is residing in me is mine oh nobody should touch it so sri ram krishna says the people who have not got the realization their attitude is like that but like sri krishna told in this particular verse once the realization comes this limiting of that little body of ganga it just goes out and then sri ram krishna says as the realization comes of oneness in all those limitations on that tiny body of ganges it just vanishes and then there is no oh this is my little ganga this is my water this is my ganges that realization that that understanding just vanishes and uh, uh, this is what uh, sri ram krishna has uh, spoken about of what cannot limit can, can we limit ganges can we limit space no this is my space 
This is my Ganges. We cannot say it. In the same way, Sri Ramakrishna says that Brahman is all everywhere. Have that understanding. And simply talking is not going to get us this knowledge. Simply talking that Brahman is everywhere. I am in all, everyone in me. And then that Sarvatra Samadarshanaha, I can see everything same in all the directions. By talking, by hearing, by reading, it doesn't happen. It has to be experienced. It has to be realized by strenuously, by determinedly putting the mind on this self. And this is what Sri Krishna is trying to teach us in this Dhyana Yoga. Let us uh, uh, learn something from the teachings of Sri Ram, uh, Sri Krishna and the examples that uh, we have been uh, getting enlightened uh, as quoted uh, by Sri Ram Krishna, those examples. So let us get into this uh, habit of, uh, into this practice of Dhyana Yoga. Make, may, may at least make an effort. Make a conscientious effort. Make a determined effort of understanding who we are. And then reach that stage. That is what Sri Krishna is telling Arjuna. Sri Krishna is telling all of us. So that was the 29th shloka of uh, the Dhyana Yoga, the 6th Adhyaya of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sri Krishna Arpanamastu. Jai Sri Ramakrishna. Jai Thakur. Jai Ma. Jai Swamiji.